I did the duck bill spoiler on my car, which I was very excited mm, about. Nice. I, was very excited. I had uh, our boy Jonathan paint it, yeah. and I think he did a very good job. Very like, good. He he did, and like he he his his situation is interesting. Like he can use his shop, but it's just him doing it. Correct. Yeah. So it's his it's his workshop. So he works for Caliber yeah. Collision, which is a you know pretty big you know it's a good chain. it's a big it's a, chain it's of... a big chain. Uh, which surprises me for Dane, you know, yeah. going to a chain. Yeah, but well, and he, they're not it's a little very different well if known. I'm not the eating it. The funny thing is, Caliber <laughs> co- Collision isn't very well known for doing great quality paint mm. on their jobs. Mm-hmm. So, real lucky that we got Jonathan to yeah. be able to do this stuff on well, his own. Jonathan here, he basically does it so he's he can really learn, trying learn technique and yeah, stuff. Yeah, he's so really he's trying too. Made so, a point of it. He won't paint a whole car, but he will do parts. Yeah, yeah. And, so he does it on the yeah. weekends. Basically, yeah. takes he takes. Side jobs, he doesn't get charged for paint because basically he's getting more practice in. So he just charges for his labor and time. Yeah, um, and I but, make sure to give him a big tip because I really appreciate yeah. the service. And what's so. nice is yeah. that uh, I drop off a part to his house in Meridian. He uh, paints it over the weekend. And That's I, exactly and I pick what it up, happened. I pick up on a Sunday night back at his house, and I say, here's your cash. Thanks, man. And it's pretty much the easiest yeah. paint stuff you could ever, yeah. you could ever do. Yeah. No, I, so I dropped it off with him on like, Thursday or Friday, yeah. and then he painted it on Saturday, and I picked it up Sunday morning. And yeah. uh, then I went to install it on my car where I thought it was going to be easy. It seems like an easy thing. I didn't realize Jaguar stuff's Jaguar. It's a Jaguar. It's a Jaguar. 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 Of course, it's stuff's a Jaguar. So yeah. much stuff inside mm. the factory spoiler. Yeah. There's a GPS unit, there's the brake lights, mm-hmm. there's the other oh, wow. stuff that you expect, but. And the radio antenna, like these things are integrated into it. So when you open it up, you're like, oh, gee, I hope that seal never breaks. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, getting the original one off was a little bit exciting because I, I got, you know, you take the brake light off and you get in there that got these plates. And then I saw that dreaded freaking little dot in the middle of the Torx uh, screw yeah. bolt. When you see the dot in the middle, you know, it's a freaking security bolt. And the security bolts suck if you don't have. Yeah, use those the on bit. our. Uh, I use that on the uh, Lantra to keep the front license plate attached. But as let's you, let's should, think I mean. about this for a moment. The security bits, they're not that hard to find. What is the point of the security bit other than to inconvenience the person actually installing it? Because I guarantee you, the day those came out, the thieves were like, "Oh, buy him one of those." <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's not really. <laughs> so, could you use the one from your license plate kit, or did you have to uh, buy different. a whole set? Yeah, different. Are they Torx? They're torques, yeah, torque okay. security, yeah. but they're not security on the plate. They are on the mine are spoiler. I should have security ones on the plate. That would actually you kind know of why? Because I've had plates stolen before. I've never mm. had that. Me either. <laughs> yeah, that's it's one of those things. When you get your license plate stolen, you think it's so weird. You're oh. like, why did anybody steal a license? plate? <laughs> and then somebody accuses you of your crime a week later, and you're like, yeah. well, that's not me. <laughs> yep. But yeah. Anyway. No. Crazy. So, yeah, that really derailed me because I was like, I did that thing where I'm like, oh, I didn't expect to get a storm door this weekend, but I went and got that. Oh, I got the spoiler to do, too. Yeah, that's more so exciting than go the back. storm door. So the storm door is going in the garage. Let's put on the spoiler. I'm sure it'll be easy. Oh, I look online. Unlike a Honda Civic or, you know, something else, uh, you could find a lot of people doing this stuff. On the Jaguar forms is basically all just the same owner's manual, and it only shows you the most Man, rudimentary. Man, so you missed an opportunity for the Great Dane, yeah, Great Dane channel. So yeah, well, now I know to. how it works, okay. so I could probably demonstrate it for a YouTube channel and have five people watch it who own Jaguar mm-hmm. XKRs and mm-hmm. go, "Thanks, uh, that'll be totally worth it." Now I understand why no one else does it. <laughs> yeah, but point was, I got off the old factory one that was small, and I put on the new one, the big boy. And it's like three times bigger than the mm. other one. And I was very excited about that. Because the car's already fast. I don't need to make it much faster. I just want it to look the part, yeah. too. So. But you've got the rest of the body kit still to put on, too. Yeah. So I have uh, skirts and I have a front splitter. Those are all carbon fiber I want to put on. I've also got a diffuser on the way. But it's being hand-built in Germany and then shipped oh. over here. <laughs> so that's very exciting. Mm. Um, but, yeah, that's uh, that's going to take a little while. Be Unfortunately, nice. it won't arrive until after our event. So oh, I'm a little shoot. bummed about that. So I'm going to have to uh, accommodate my design for the wrap to, you know, do the regular bumper. And then when the time comes, I'll have to do what you did with the Suburban, which is, okay, I'm going to have to figure out how to do this or, myself. Or have creative wraps do it Or do you. that. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. true. Have so, them do the back bumper. Yeah. Uh, get around to that when I do get the part. Mm-hmm. But it's like a whole 
bumper. It's it's what you see in the thumbnail yeah, of this video. Is that's cool. That full diffuser. So I'm excited about that because the regular bumper is kind of boring. It's just flat and blank. You know. Yeah. But you know, first world problems. I get it. But it was just one of those things where I've been saving up for, it, and I was so excited. Yeah. I'm like, okay, now I can kind of do the yeah. tuner boy stuff with a car that's not traditionally seen as that i think so, your car is going to look insane i'm so excited with all these pretty mean man it's going to yeah. be a vicious car so i'm stoked but i know i gave nick some videos earlier i don't know if he has them of the spoiler actually installed on the car just comparing before and after so you'll see my car is wonderfully dirty and scratched up from a tunnel wash that i put it through because reasons um yeah i normally don't like tunnel washes touchless is preferred but the new spoiler is much taller like that right there is much taller than it used to be. Yeah. It was probably a good two, three inches shorter than before. But now that I've got this, I'm, I'm really liking how it's coming along. I just want to get that splitter on the front, although the front already scrapes on everything. So I'm debating maybe raising the car up an inch, although that may be a little tricky. And then I could push the wheels out Those more. are you got cut springs on there? The, they just well, heated them up with a torch and cut them off? Or I think it actually you... <laughs> has like full coil over set up. But <laughs> like, the, yeah, car, the car had the lowering done before I bought oh, it. I know. So I've, I've never just... looked that closely at it to see yeah. like what I can do with it. Anyway, so you know what I'm going to say, but I'm going to say it anyway. Make sure you're subscribed to the Rag Company podcast YouTube channel, as well as the Rag Company YouTube channel. And last but not, ugh, last but not least, the Rag Company FAQ channel. If you're not there and you have questions about detailing, what are you doing? Get over there. There's great yeah, stuff there popping go. up there pretty frequently, and uh, I think you're going to enjoy it. There's new stuff coming out all the time on all of our channels. So check them out, and we will see you later on Thursday with the big crew. So have a great week. We'll see you then. See ya.